News 4 Jax and Consumer Reports, working together to keep your family safe. With the hurricane season starting today and an active storm season predicted, now is the time to get ready. We can't tell you this enough. So if you already have a generator, there are things that you need to do before the power goes out. Consumer investigator Lauren Verno takes us through the steps to storm prep your generator. If you've spent money on a portable gasoline generator, the last thing you want is trouble starting it when a storm hits. Consumer Report says there are simple steps to keep it up and running. Always have enough fuel. You'll need more than just what the generator tank can hold. Figure on 12 to 20 gallons per day to keep it running 24 seven. Add a fuel stabilizer to keep the fuel fresh. If your gas is old, your generator might be difficult to start. It also won't run properly or it might not run at all. This also eliminates the need to drain your tank when you're done using your generator. Now to save fuel, run it for several hours to get your essentials running and then turn it off to save your fuel. Next, pay attention to the oil. Many portable generators automatically shut off if the engine oil gets too low. So check the oil before you even start your generator to avoid disruptions in your power or worse, damaging your generator. Now, if the oil is low, add only enough to bring the level to the full mark. If you want to go the extra mile, check the filters. Change paper air filter if they're visibly dirty. For foam filters, clean it in soapy water. Let dry and re-oil according to the manufacturer's instructions. Now many generators have a filter cup at the fuel tank opening. If it's dirty, tap out any solid bits and wipe with a clean rag. And remember, avoid carbon monoxide exposure. Never run your generator indoors, not even in your garage near open windows or doors. Consumer Report says your generator needs exercise. So once a month, start it up, let it run for about 20 minutes. This burns off moisture, lubricates the engine, and recharges the battery. I'm Consumer Investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.